Please, spare me the philosophy. I have to do something about it, or he's going to destroy me and the health center. Okay, you don't have to listen to me. But there are people who can help you. What are you talking about? Being brave isn't enough. You also have to be clever. Hang in there. More people are on your side than you think. Take me back. But Steve-O, it's been two days. Now he's crying and hungry. Give him to me. I told you, woman, you will not spoil my baby. No more breast milk. He's a big man, he will drink the porridge. Give me my baby. Go and do your work, stop bothering us. Women. is not enough for a grown man. I'm hungry. What are you talking? You do not hunger, you. You, you think you do. <laughs> Bring your plates, I give you food. <laughs> oh, Nakati, this is what I call food. <laughs> you, if you're in the army, you would not survive. You think I'm like you? <laughs> I'm telling you. Me, I know. Soldiers can go for one week and only one biscuit. A biscuit? Hey. No. Only? Yes. <laughs> and me, when I tell you about the army, you joke. It's no joke. The army is a very serious institution. Who wants to be in the army? <laughs> you like Nakati's cooking, little girl? She eats three times a day at home. Ah, that is good. She's still on breast, always healthy, never sick. What is this trouble coming? Mama! Marisa, what are you doing here? Where have you left the baby? The baby is at home. Who have you left him with? Stevo. Stevo? Does he know how to look after a baby? That's what I want to talk to you about. Always, always, you want, you want. All the time you want. You see how you are dressed. In home clothes, shaming. Now, where are you going? Huh? You just walk like that. I've never seen a girl like you. Now, Nakati, what's wrong? Look at this girl. You see how she has come from home? She has left my grandson there. What's the matter, Marisa? Stevo. Stevo. And refused me to breastfeed my baby. He has given it milk for two days. And now... And now he's hungry and he cries all the time. Marisa, you go home and bring here the baby quickly. Eh? We need to see him. Eh, eh, what has he done? You can tell that boy to come here. This needs sorting. Dr. Sophia, good morning. May I join you? Yes, of course. Thank you. Uh, one Renzori mineral water, please. So, how are you? I'm okay. I am tired. My daughter Kezia is home for the holidays. And you know what teenagers are like. It's so hard to keep up with them. <laughs> Did you know that Mr. Wilberforce came to see my husband yesterday? Yes, he mentioned it. I'm sorry about the dispenser, Innocent. It was unfortunate. I wonder what made him do a thing like that. Family problems, I guess. Yes, that might be it. You know this does not reflect very well on you. I know. I wonder, don't you think you might be making too many enemies, Sophia? I have to 
say this. I've never liked Mr. Wilberforce, and I don't think I could trust him. He has managed to fool everyone, and he has everything worked out. Don't worry, Sophia. He hasn't fooled everyone, not completely. I don't know what I'm going to do about him. You think of something, and you're not alone in this, trust me. I have to leave now, but I'll be in touch soon. Thank you, Miriam. I appreciate it. Don't thank me yet. Please help me. Please help me, Madame Doctor. Please help me. I know he's going to kill me. Who? He said he'll give me to his friend for crocodiles. What? Please help me. I'll do anything. He's going to kill me. Mom. Mom. I think the baby is sick. He has refused to eat. He's always crying. Marisa went to fetch water. She refused to come back. What do I do? You, you stupid fella. How can you say the baby has refused to take her milk? But, ma'am, he's too old for breastfeeding. What are you saying? Too old? Nakati, Nakati, calm down. I'll need to examine the baby to make sure he's fine. He's a stupid. He's the one making the boy fall sick. I'll talk to him, Nakati. He doesn't know. My baby. Ah, you see? That's what she always does. He won't eat proper food because she's always breastfeeding him. He's too old for breast milk. What are you saying? Too old? Steve, look at this mother here. You know, she has her baby who's much bigger than yours, and she's still breastfeeding her. Steve, my big strong boy. I breastfed you until you were walking and talking. Mm -hmm. Why do you think you are so big and strong now? Me? Yes. <laughs> Mama, what are you saying? <laughs> move away! <laughs> I said move away! <laughs> move away! <laughs> How are you? Uh, better. I had a talk with Miriam Banda and with Mande. She told me some very interesting things. Hmm. I thought you'd be pleased. Uh, by the way, how is Tabu? Tabu? Yes, your friend from Kenya, remember? Yes, I remember. He went back to Nairobi. Why? I was just wondering. He's not in this photograph. Maybe that's because he wasn't there. That is you, isn't it? Moses, what is wrong with you? What are you doing? You could have been a doctor instead of hiding away here, pretending you don't know what is going on in the world. What kind of man are you? Whoa! Don't you think you owe me an explanation? I don't owe anyone anything. Marisa, it was good you brought your child for his weighing, but you should have come back with him. It's two months now. You see that? His weight was okay, he was gaining weight regularly, but he has lost weight now. Has he got any diarrhea? No, no. It's because I stopped giving him his breast milk. Ah, uh, that's not the reason. Do you always wash your hands before preparing his food and feeding him? Always. Excuse me, Sister Gertrude. You see? Oh, she's grown into a big girl. You've brought her for weight? Yes. Ah! She started giving her solid foods at six months. Ah! And she eats well. You see, a grown child needs food. You're feeding him on solid food? He gave him porridge. Porridge is not bad. How do you cook it and what do you put in? The usual way, water and flour, like my mother does. Water and flour only? How much water do you use? Ah, you see, you cook the porridge badly. I've been telling her to stop breastfeeding the boy and feed him on proper food, but she's just spoiling him. Steve, oh, Steve, oh, a child should be breastfed until he's two years old. You see? But at six months, you should start them on solid food. I knew that. But porridge like that, water and flour only, it wouldn't feed a mouse. You know, in the porridge, you should put in a lot of milk and perhaps ghee 
or blue band so that it has lots of energy. Sometimes I put guinat or simsim paste. That's very good too. What else do you feed her? I also give her food that we eat like cassava, matoke posho. I mash everything together and give her. You see? She's gaining weight nicely. You know, this is the only way we can really tell. But for him, he always wants to eat. You mean I give him food like that all the time? Yes, mash his food so that he can manage it. And then feed him three times a day. So what you eat is what he eats on his own plate. Yeah, like a real big man. At other times, you can give him snacks like um, mashed fruit and eggs. And you should continue breastfeeding him until he's two years old. Marisa, whenever he wants. Even at night? Even at night. Should be thankful men don't breastfeed, Stevo. <laughs> Okay, when I was in my fifth year of medical school, cost sharing fees were increased and we didn't like the idea. I rallied some of the students to fight for our rights. The police got involved and there was a lot of tear gas. We wouldn't stand for that. So we started fighting back against the police. They retaliated. They fired warning shots in the air and then lower. A student got hit by a stray bullet. The student was my wife. She died in hospital. She was three months pregnant. <laughs> Maliza and Stivo are like many new parents, not knowing when it is the best time to start their children on solid foods. Consulting the center was the best thing. Maliza should have started feeding him energy-giving foods like cassava, posho, matoke, and akalo with proteins like beans, peas, and ground nut sauce, all mixed up and mashed properly at six months. If she gives him this kind of food three times a day and still gives him breast milk as well, their son is going to grow up healthy, strong, and happy. Of course, the only real way to tell if he's getting enough to eat and growing properly is by weighing him every month for the first two years. That way, we can track his progress. As for Moses, I am so sorry about his wife. I understand him so much better now. My real problem is Mr. Wilberforce. That man is dishonest. I know it, but how can I prove it? Take me to the center.